Imagine a world where the very plastics we rely on can sustain themselves. Welcome to the future of polymers in a circular economy. But how close are we to achieving this vision? And what role do industry regulations and certifications play in this transformation? Let's explore the challenges and solutions shaping the next era of sustainable polymers. Navigating the world of sustainability regulations can feel like solving a giant jigsaw puzzle. Each region has its own set of rules and standards. For companies in the polymer industry, understanding these regulations is crucial. Think of these regulations as guideposts, helping you navigate towards a more sustainable future. By understanding the rules, you can ensure that your products and processes are good for business and the planet. Collaboration is key. By working together, we can overcome challenges and create a more sustainable polymer industry. Let's zoom in on the European Union, a pioneer in setting ambitious environmental targets. At the heart of the EU's sustainability strategy is the Green Deal, aimed at making Europe climate neutral by 2050. For the polymer industry, the Green Deal emphasizes circularity, reducing plastic waste, and promoting recycled and bio-based materials. Another key piece of legislation is REACH, ensuring the safe use of chemicals in polymer production. If you're operating in Europe, paying close attention to the Green Deal and REACH is non-negotiable. These regulations drive innovation and create a more sustainable future. Compliance is not just about ticking boxes. It's an opportunity for growth and leadership. Let's look at BASF, a global giant in the chemical and polymer industry. BASF has embraced sustainability and complies with EU regulations. They proactively research and develop alternatives to hazardous chemicals. By investing in R&D, BASF meets reach requirements and gains a competitive edge. Consumers demand sustainable products and BASF is well positioned to meet that demand. BASF's story shows that compliance with sustainability regulations is an opportunity for innovation and growth. Let's travel to China, a pivotal player in the global polymer industry. China is the world's largest consumer of plastics and has embarked on a journey towards sustainability. One significant development was China's ban on single-use plastics. This ban has forced companies to rethink their materials and processes. It's also created opportunities for innovation as businesses develop sustainable alternatives. Chinese companies are pioneering new technologies and materials. They're proving that sustainability and economic growth can go hand in hand. Let's meet China's Hydean Green Plastic, a company riding the wave of change in China. They focus on creating eco-friendly packaging solutions. When China announced its plastic ban, Hadian Green Plastic adapted by investing in R&D. They developed biodegradable and compostable polymers to replace conventional plastics. Today, they are a leading provider of sustainable packaging solutions in China. Their story shows that embracing sustainability is good for the planet and business. Let's hop to the United States, where the EPA shapes the sustainability landscape for the polymer industry. The Toxic Substances Control Act empowers the EPA to regulate chemicals used in manufacturing. The EPA ensures these chemicals are safe for human health and the environment. They conduct assessments, evaluate risks, and set standards to minimize harm. The EPA also promotes recycling and responsible waste management practices. They encourage the development of polymers that are easier to recycle or biodegrade. Beyond regulations, certifications provide proof of a company's commitment to sustainability. Certifications are a seal of approval, showcasing environmental and social practices. Certifications help consumers make more informed choices. For businesses, certifications enhance brand reputation and open new opportunities. Sustainability certifications are becoming increasingly important in the global marketplace. They drive positive change and create a more sustainable future for the polymer industry. Certifications go above and beyond basic regulations, providing third-party validation. They are a powerful tool for driving innovation and growth.
Let's dive into ISCC Plus, a key certification in the polymer industry. ISCC Plus ensures the sustainability of supply chains from raw materials to the final product. It's relevant for companies using bio-based or recycled materials in polymer production. ISCC Plus tracks the origin of materials, ensuring they meet strict criteria. For example, it verifies that sugarcane used in polymers is grown sustainably. It also ensures that recycled plastic meets environmental standards. By choosing ISCC Plus certified products, consumers support a more sustainable polymer industry. Let's talk about Cradle to Cradle, C2C, a certification embodying circularity. C2C encourages designing products that can be perpetually cycled back into the system. It goes beyond minimizing impact, creating products safe for human health and endlessly reusable. To achieve C2C certification, companies meet stringent requirements across five categories. By choosing C2C certified products, consumers support a future where waste is eliminated. The transition to sustainable polymers requires significant investment. Shifting to eco-conscious practices can be expensive initially. New materials, factory upgrades and recycling technologies all come with costs. Smaller companies may find it challenging to bear these costs. However, embracing sustainability can lead to long-term savings and new revenue streams. Reduced waste, lower energy consumption and a stronger brand reputation are benefits. Sustainability is an investment in the future. We will examine how companies such as Amcor are establishing new sustainability standards that have boosted their profitability. Let's delve into Amcor's initiative, which is dedicated to making all of its packaging recyclable or reusable by 2025. One of the biggest hurdles is finding materials that are sustainable and durable. Food packaging, for example, needs to keep food fresh and safe. Finding sustainable alternatives for each layer is challenging. Amcor invests in R&D and collaborates with partners to find solutions. Their dedication shows that sustainable packaging is achievable. Amcor's initiatives bolster its reputation and help secure contracts with companies like Nestle and Unilever, who aim to reduce their environmental footprint through sustainable packaging. With rising regulations on packaging waste, particularly in the European Union and North America, companies like Amcor that are ahead in sustainable packaging can avoid potential penalties and compliance costs associated with plastic waste and recycling requirements. A sustainable polymer, future innovation, collaboration and hope. As we've explored the world of sustainable polymers, from regulations and certifications to the challenges and triumphs of companies on the front lines, one thing is clear, the future is brimming with possibilities. Emerging technologies like biopolymers, 3D printing and artificial intelligence are poised to revolutionize the industry, creating polymers that are not only good for the planet, but also high performing and cost effective. But technology alone is not enough. Achieving a truly sustainable polymer future requires a collaborative effort with governments, industry, researchers and consumers working together towards a common goal. The journey towards sustainability is not always easy and there will be bumps along the way, but the challenges we face are far outweighed by the opportunities that lie ahead. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more content like this and share it with your friends. Together, we can make a difference.